Welcome back. We're going to go ahead and talk a little more sports and the offers continue to come. The carousel continues of all the talent across the Bayside. Free agency never sleeps and apparently it does not have an age requirement either. <laughs> the offers keep rolling in for Steve Indicator's Luma as the big fella just picked up a number nine. This one coming from Wolford. The wild thing about this kid is he did not start playing basketball until three years ago. But he has definitely picked up the game, and since then he has really come into his own. Him paired with Gary Burdell, as well as Kevon Boyles this year, should make the Seahawks favorites in the base side and have a great chance of heading over to the Xfinity Center next spring. Division one offers also continue to come in for Tyree Henry, the former Steve Indicator standout who transferred to a private school across the bridge. This week he was offered by Virginia Tech and West Virginia. Among his other offers from Maryland and Wagner, just to name a few, really can't wait to see where he commits. Yeah, well, he's reclassing too, so he gets another year to in high school. Well, sticking with Steve Nicator, they're also losing another oh. talented player over to St. Francis. This one be Darren McKenzie. He probably would have been the best quarterback in the conference. Well, he's taking his talents over the bridge. That's about the last thing you want to hear if you're a Seahawks mm -hmm. fan, because we're about three weeks out from the season. Now the quarterback had already picked up a number of Division I interest, including one offer from Morgan State. To the baseball diamond Parkside, starting pitcher Sean Fisher has committed to play at Maryland. The announcement comes after a great summer ball season that got the attention of a flurry of schools, so we'll get to see him play locally. Yeah, anytime you got a left-hander that's going to dial it up to 90, you're going to have an opportunity to play at D1. <laughs> yes, that's absolutely true. Well, it's time for another quick commercial break, that is, but come to the other side. We're going to go ahead and take it over to the Redskins. The football time is here, and I'm excited. It's training camp time. I'm Gerald Foreman with Indian River High School, running back and cornerback, and you're watching the Marvel Sports Insider. <laughs> 